Hello and welcome to this subject introduction video for OCR's 2012 Level 3 and Level 2 Cambridge Technicals in Art and Design. My name is Suzanne Hall and I'm the Sector Manager for Cambridge Technicals and responsible for their strategic development. Our Art and Design Suite was launched in 2012. They're popular Level 2 and Level 3 qualifications for post-16 students wishing to study a range of art and design concepts. Plus at Level 3, there are specialist pathways in photography, graphic design, 3D design, fashion and fine art for your students to choose from. We've designed the qualifications with the workplace in mind. Plus the Level 3 can provide a high quality alternative to A-level art. And for those of you not delivering Cambridge Technicals, we believe this is a real opportunity for you to think differently and choose a real alternative to BTEC. You'll be aware that following the Wolf Review, the government instigated the reform of all vocational qualifications taught at post-16. Because of this, there are a number of requirements set by the DfE that all awarding bodies have to include. This includes a percentage of mandatory content and external assessment plus categorising the qualifications into either Applied General, which is designed to lead your students to university, or Tech Level, which are designed to lead your students to work. At the moment, we've taken the decision not to redevelop the 2012 Cambridge Technicals in Art and Design Suite. We know from your feedback that you love the flexibility of the 2012 Suite. The fact that you can co-teach across sizes, at level three, your students can study specific pathways if they choose, and there's no external assessment. And only having one mandatory unit provides your students with lots of choice. There is a document and more information on the website that explains how we came to our decision. But what I want to do is reassure you that the 2012 Cambridge Technicals in Art and Design are fit for purpose qualifications that are regulated by Ofqual. They also receive funding as they're included within Key Stage 5 study programmes. The Level 3 receives UCAS points and is included on the old and the new UCAF tariff, plus they will remain 100% internally assessed. However, the qualifications do not receive Key Stage 5 performance points from 2018 onwards. We want you to be able to continue to deliver the programme you love a 100% centre assessed qualification that includes practical and wider project based assessment opportunities, plus visiting moderation, providing you with feedback and support. We think this provides you with focused qualifications that either complement a Key Stage 5 study programme alongside other vocational qualifications or A levels, or may constitute to the bulk of a two year study programme. So you can do this, we'll be extending the 2012 Level 2 and Level 3 Art and Design specifications. The information on the screen shows the dates we've extended the suite to. This means that you'll be able to enter Level 2 students until the 30th of April 2020. This will allow you to run a final cohort in September 2019, with them completing their qualification by August 2022. Level 3 students on a two-year study programme in September 2020 with their last entry date by the 31st of August 2021, with them completing their qualification by 31st of August 2024. Once entered for a particular level, the ability to move between sizes within that level, topping up and moving down, is available until the last certification date. The Level 2 suite has three sizes of qualification a 90 guided learning hour, a 180 and a 360. All sizes, there is only one mandatory unit, exploring the work of artists and designers. This aims to provide your students with an understanding of the key trends and movements in the art and design sector. There are then 12 optional units for your students to choose from. Depending on the size of the qualification, your students will select between one and six optional units. These can cover topics such as 2D and 3D media and techniques, photography, graphic design, textiles and fine art. The Level 3 suite has five sizes of qualification, a 180 guided learning hour, a 360, 540, 720 and a 1080. Just like the Level 2, there's only one mandatory unit, Art and Design in Context. 
where your students will look at key trends and movements and events in the context of a chosen art and design discipline. The benefit of this is that it allows your students to identify areas of personal interest. They'll investigate artists or designers and use this to develop ideas for a creative piece of creative work. There are then 37 optional units for your students to choose from. Depending on the size of the qualification, your students will select between 2 and 17 optional units. At level 3 there are also 5 specialist pathways your students could study – Photography, Graphic Design, 3D Design, Fashion and Fine Art. For qualifications where there are pathways available, your students must complete at least 4 units from the pathway group. Depending on the size, your students can receive a double endorsed pathway by completing 4 units from one pathway group and another 4 units from a different pathway group. The certificate in Art and Design is 180 guided learning hours, which is the same size as one AS level. Your students will complete the mandatory unit plus two optional units of their choice. This size provides your students with a broad grounding across the subject. However, due to this being the smallest qualification in the suite, there's no opportunity for your students to gain an endorsed pathway. The introductory diploma in Art and Design is 360 guided learning hours, which is the same size as 1A level. Along with the mandatory units, your students will complete five optional units. If your students wish to specialise, they could gain an endorsed pathway, so photography, graphic design, 3D design, fashion or fine art. To do this, they'd need to complete a minimum of four units from the pathway group. The subsidiary diploma in Art and Design is 540 guided learning hours, so the same size as 1.5A levels. As well as the mandatory units, they get to choose 8 optional units and again they can specialise to gain an endorsed pathway. But at this size, they could choose to complete up to 2 pathways. The diploma in Art and Design is 740 guided learning hours, which is the same size as 2A levels. Like the sizes before, your students will need to complete the mandatory unit, but now they get to choose 11 of the 37 optional units, and again, they could complete up to two endorsed pathways if they wish to do so. The extended diploma in Art and Design is the largest qualification in the suite, 1080 guided learning hours, which is the same size as 3A levels. There's only one mandatory unit, and the choice of 17 units from the 37 options. At this size, there's no endorsed pathways available. Your students can still take units from the pathway group. Because of the qualification size, we don't endorse the pathway because the amount of optional units taken make the overall qualification too broad and not pathway specific. The Cambridge Technicals in Art and Design, both levels 2 and 3, are 100% internally assessed. This means your students will be set assignments marked by you. You'll mark the student's work using the assessment criteria in the grading grid. You can even provide them with some feedback. Once ready, you'll make a claim and we'll moderate the work for you. We've provided you with a model assignment for Unit 1 at both levels, so the mandatory unit. You can use this with your students, adapt it to meet your local environment and use it as a basis to create your own assignments for the other units. Because of the nature of art and design, the wide variety of media, materials and techniques, and the different environments your students will be exposed to, we believe that allowing you to create assignments that meet your students' needs and interests will benefit them more and give them greater success. But if you're unsure, an assignment checking service is available and can be accessed through the OCR website via our CPD hub. However, it's not mandatory for assignments to be checked by us. Students can be assessed at any time within their study programme and will provide two free moderation visits per academic year. This flexibility, combined with our efficient administration process, enables you to focus on what's important, delivering a study programme that meets the needs of your students rather than completing additional paperwork that our competitors require. We'll moderate your claim when you're ready, but we'd suggest that you'd plan when you expect your students to be ready for moderation, and then discuss this with your moderator and get your visits booked in well in advance, particularly in the summer term, as this can get very busy. Your students can resubmit an assignment if they've not performed at their best but you must use your discretion as to whether or not this is in their interests. 
we believe this is a real advantage compared to our competitors who require students to complete a brand new assignment in a very short time frame. Our internal assessment really does put your student at the heart of the process, allows them to reach their maximum potential and at the same time remains an efficient administration process for yourself. We'd strongly advise you leave time in your planning in case a unit needs to be resubmitted. And please remember that if your students require UCAS points, you must have all your units complete and moderated by the 30th of June. Following moderation will award the unit, grade it at pass, merit or distinction. Then following completion of all the units required for the qualification, your students will be awarded their qualification grade at pass, merit, distinction or distinction star, plus any endorsed pathways for the level three qualifications. If you have any questions and want to talk to us, please feel free to do so. You can call us on 02476 851509 or send us an email at vocational.qualifications at ocr.org.uk. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you, this has given you a flavour of the technicals in art and design and we very much look forward to working with you in the future.